In July 2016, undercover investigators from PETA US and Anonymous for Animal Rights traveled to South America to expose one of the cruelest industrial cattle slaughter methods in the world. It's known as shackle and hoist. Paraguay is the seventh largest exporter of beef in the world. 40% of all the kosher beef eaten in Israel comes from Paraguay. This is shackle and hoist kosher slaughter at the Frigochaco Slaughterhouse. Workers electrically prod terrified cows into a squeeze box where they chain them by two legs. The bottom then drops open, causing the cows to plunge to the kill floor. Workers then hoist the struggling cows by their chained legs and swing them into place. To wrestle the cows' heads into position, workers grab them by the nose with a metal hook and pin their heads to the floor with a sharp pronged tool called a devil's fork. Using the devil's fork, they wrench the cow's heads back, exposing their throats for the ritual slaughter cut. Teams of kosher slaughterers are sent from Israel to South America. Up to 80% of the kosher meat exported to Israel comes from slaughterhouses that use shackle and hoist methods. Even after the cow's throat is cut, the worst is still to come. Hung upside down, many cows are fully conscious while bleeding out, some for over two minutes. But workers start cutting into them despite the fact that they can still feel pain. This cow remained alive and conscious for several minutes during the process. One worker plunges a spike called a puntilla into the back of the head to sever the spine. But this just paralyzes them and doesn't kill them or render them unconscious. After previous PETA investigations, the chief rabbi of Israel promised to phase out shackle and hoist slaughter and declare the meat to be non-kosher. But as this new investigation has exposed, these promises have not been kept. Why continue to kill animals in such a primitive and cruel way? The answer may surprise you. It's not for religious reasons, because there are other methods of kosher slaughter that use more modern equipment and cause less suffering. Rather, shackle and hoist slaughter persists because it's faster and cheaper. This calculated cruelty allows slaughterhouses to kill more than 90 cows per hour. Shackle and hoist slaughter is almost twice as fast as less agonizing methods. This is the hidden cost of cheap kosher meat. The cows are paying the price. Shockingly, representatives of the chief rabbi's office previously defended the kosher status of shackle and hoist beef, declaring that gratuitous cruelty does not disqualify the meat as kosher. In other slaughterhouses in South America, this gratuitous cruelty was on full display. At this plant in Argentina, a major exporter to Israel, investigators documented the tools of the trade up close. Kosher beef from South America, produced with these methods, is still being imported into many other countries around the world, including the U.S. And since a large percentage of meat from kosher slaughter is sold as non-kosher meat, this should concern every meat-eating consumer. Take action, go to PETA.org and please choose vegan.
and eat with a clear conscience. Thank you.